coverage of the third qualifying round of the AFC Asian Cup between India and the Kyrgyz Republic on the Star Sports Network and Hotstar. And match day two brings us to the Sri Kantira Stadium in Bengaluru. Because uh, the Kyrgyz Republic had won the toss, it'll be JJ to kick off proceedings here in uh, Bengaluru. India in blue, Kyrgyz Republic in white. And there you go, direct straight away, just trying to ask questions. See uh, what kind of formation Kyrgyz Republic plays with. We know they're defensively solid. But we also know that Indians like to attack from the word go. Something they tried against Nepal as well, particularly in the first 15 minutes. A cross comes in from Holy Charan Nazri from the left hand side. Jackie was there, but the cross was a little wayward. Here's a shot. Slight deflection was there. No. Just not enough support there for Sunil. JJ has been asked to move up. The furthest player forward for India at the moment. Balls in their own half. Good piece of skill there by the captain. Shoots. Brilliant save there by Kupri. There you go. Just a little check back inside. Looks for that bottom corner. But Kupri right up to Tass. Just pushes it to safety. That's a big strong wrist as well. Not a soft wrist to push it back into play. Make sure that it goes out of play. Straight on the volley. It's not a bad ball in from Maya. But again, everybody backing off. Merzayev. Merzayev has no real opportunity for the Kyrgyz Republic. Jackie Chan Singh here with a perfect ball in. Not really, because the defender was there. And the chip goes over the net. It's a wasted opportunity now. Sunil doing absolutely brilliant. Picking the ball up, turning, finding Jackie Chan as well. Unfortunately, quality just not there. Jackie with a cross, he is there. Not quite the finish that India were looking for from Holy Chan and Nazari. Tell you what, Sunil was unlucky there. He'll be gutted that he didn't take that in his stride. He's back in India for a big game for India. A little more consistent than that, and so will India. They're winning balls back, but in terms of attack, just not getting enough uh, from their midfield at the moment. Jackie's looked all right. Sunil, his usual self. Eugene's got to get into the game a little bit more. There's a sort of a debate with the referee there. Yuda Yamamoto is not happy. He's given a back pass. I think he's given a back pass. Indirect free kick. Yeah, that's it. That's it. What happens? He's considered that a back pass, even though he's been flattened. That's another, another bad decision from the referee. Well taken that, chance for a shot. Well dealt with by India. Pressure still on though. Victor Meyer on the left-hand side. Shoots it in! Nobody was there to tap in that cross. Elias is there. Center of defense knows the danger that Sunil Chetri possesses, knows the skills that he has, and so does Victor Meyer. Right back, quick throw in. JJ with an opportunity, a brilliant save there from the goalkeeper. The defense had gone off to sleep, but the keeper was alert. Trouble here. Mursa is in. Once again, Akhlidin just took a touch too many and couldn't deliver the finish that the visitors were looking for. But every time Mursa gets the ball, Indians have to watch out. Big opportunity here, a big save from the big man in goal. And no trouble this time. India will breathe a sigh of relief. I'm surprised he didn't have that one as a back pass there with Eugene just trying to clear his lines. And the half time whistle has blown. Uh, it, was good it was good play. It was good play, really was. I thought that was going to be a goal, but again, another good save from the big man. That's two. Very, very important saves that Gurpreet's made in that first 45 minutes. Well, at halftime at the Sri Kantirva Stadium in Bengaluru, it's India nil, Kyrgyz Republic uh, nil. Stay with us on the Star Sports Network and Hotstar for the halftime show. As we wait for the opening whistle of the second half from Yuda Yamamoto, the Japanese referee who's had a bit of a mixed bag of a game so far. So, uh, as far as India is uh, looking to improve in the second half, 
The Japanese referee has his eyes set on that as well. A mixed bag. <laughs> I think he's been terrible that first 45 minutes. I think he's got a lot of decisions wrong, if I'm being completely honest. That's why we have you in the commentary box, Mace, because you say it straight. Good ball forward. JJ with an opportunity. Another good save by Pavel Matias, the goalkeeper for the Kyrgyz Republic. And you heard the fans there with that effort getting behind the side. Elias with the cross. Looked dangerous that. Chance still here for the visitors. Once again, the attack building up from the left hand side. Akhladin with the shot, and that's been the kind of finishing we've seen from him all evening. And he's kept that back line. Narayan Das, Kotal, Jingren and Anas. Trouble here for the Indian defence though. Takes on a left forward, hits the post, and India survive an almighty scare there. Once again it was Akhladin in the middle of a stupendous attack from Kazakhstan. Is that going to be the turning point of the game? Nasri on the left hand side. Jingan's in as well. Header comes in. Is that a handball? But it's certainly not the finish India was looking for, but Sunil was in. And a golden opportunity slips by from India. Then the referee did signal that there was a hand there from Sunil. Akhladin once again with an opportunity. Gives it. Captain's there. Once again a good save, but is it on a counter? Cleared off the line. Oh my goodness. Absolutely unbelievable. There's been no submission from India by any means. They will never be as long as Sunil Chetri is on the pitch. And he's running forward once again. He's got the ball, but he hasn't got support. JJ comes now on the right hand side. Sunil's back with him, gives it, shifts it forward. Sunil Chetri! Saying because 
numbers of the FIFA ranking positions that this was going to be an easy win for India. None of it. I'm having none of it. They've had to work incredibly hard for that. But it's a three points that puts them in the driving seat and the box seat now to qualify for the Asian Cup. And that in itself, with Indian football at the moment, is the dream, is the possibility and is the goal. And they're well on their way. And that one is a stunning result tonight here in Bangalore.